I'm John Hauser. I'm the principal of Wayne High School in Fort Wayne, Indiana. My name is Helen Tobo. I'm a guidance counselor at Wayne High School. We brought the Get School tour into, into Wayne High School. When we started the video, when we started the interactive portion of it, you know, I'm sitting in the back of the classroom, kids are around me, they're engaged with it, they've got their laptops out, their phones, whatever device they're using. I was just so thankful for the Get School Tour because the Get School Tour allowed us to have life-giving conversations with our students about their secret struggles, about what things bring them joy, what a friend looks like, you know, what kinds of things they do for self-care. And so for us, that was really meaningful, um, especially starting a school year like this one. We have been very intentional to have conversations with our kids about checking on a friend. But also, um, the message that you guys were sharing was something that they needed to hear. They know that, we've been telling them that. But on that day, what I could see is that kids were all, all of a sudden listening to two adults talk in very conversational style about how this is a rough year, about even before the pandemic and the hybrid learning or the virtual learning that there are a lot of things going on in my life. I can, you can see kids internalizing. There are a lot of things going on and I need to attend to these. Otherwise, I'm not going to be very successful in algebra or in my economics class and I gotta take care of this. And I thought the questions that were asked and their interactive ability there was excellent after we hosted the Get Schooled tour on this particular day. Half of our students went to the academic and went back to their next class and then the other half goes to the cafeteria. So on my way down to the office, I just wanted to get kind of a sense of how everything went. And, and we had a point person there that was, that was running, running kind of the connectivity and making sure everybody was where they were supposed to be and that, and that we had everything organized. And, and he had shared with me that we'd already had uh, what I would say is a, a breakthrough. As I'm packing up my class and, and seeing them off, I get a notification from a teacher stating that we have a young man who has identified that he is currently working through a secret struggle and he needed to talk to someone. He shared that the Get School tour and some of the questions that were going on during the polling event, he realized that he had not processed some of his feelings. Um, one of the things that came to of the Get School tour is Christiana Danielle, a mental health clinician, was talking to the kids and it was very interactive where you know you were having this conversation with Christiana Danielle about the functions of the brain and how our brain works. And so all that really tied together for this young man and he came down to talk. He just shared that he realized for so long he had not been processing, he had not been talking to anyone about some of the things that, some of the adverse life experiences that he had experienced as a child and so today he wanted to talk about it. I don't know how, I don't know what his frame of mind was when he came into the building that day and I don't know where it was when, when, when he sat down for his advisor time. But it had unlocked something, his participation, his interaction. I think the conversation that was happening in front of him uh, was so powerful that it allowed him to sit there and say, hey, I am not in a good place. And so at that point, kind of unpacked some of that with him, called mom, mom joined in, came to the school building, and so she got to be a part of that conversation too, and just helping us kind of get together a safety plan for the young man. What does this look like moving forward? What um, resources do we have in our community that could help you? And they were very open and very receptive, and I really contributed to starting that conversation with the guest school tour. I think a bigger part, uh, something going on at home, put him in a position where he had the confidence and the courage to come forward and say, hey, I, I need to talk with someone and I need to share that. And, and we, on our part, we were there with our obligation to provide a safe and secure environment. We were there to take him and say, we can help you. And he had confidence in us that we would treat him well and that we could support him. If there's something that you're struggling with, for you it may be, you know, you may not think it's a huge deal, but it's really impacting how you're processing your feelings, how you're able to move on with your day. And if you're not in a right place, then it's really hard to find the things that bring your life joy. And we want you to live a life of purpose. We want you to live a life where you know that there's hope and that your secret struggle isn't gonna have the final say.